organized and tidy and clean home is something I truly value and I think makes a home function much better and just makes me feel joy as a homemaker. So today I'm going to share with you as I clean out some areas of my kitchen and just some more nitty gritty areas that I wanted to get done before um, the baby comes. So I'm cleaning out my freezer. I had done a fridge clean out not too long ago and I just thought, okay, it's time to clean out this freezer, reorganize it and get it back into a shape that I like to look at when I open the door. And so I just take everything out and it only took me about 45 minutes, so nothing thawed too quickly sitting outside of the freezer. And then there were some old stale things, popsicles that never had gotten eaten, um, old stale buns that I had froze, hoping to use, but never did. Just a few things that, you know, just need to be tossed. And that's something you can do actually probably more regularly than I have. Just get rid of those things that have gone bad in your freezer. And then I just wanted to reorganize and clean out my chocolate chip bin because I do freeze my chocolate chips to keep them fresher longer. And so the basket was just kind of gross in the bottom and I did wash out all my bins, all my drawers, all my shelves and just made it so much nicer to look at and cleaned it just with a wet cloth and some Dawn. And yeah, there's just, look at those crumbs, just pretty nasty in there in some of those areas. bottom pull out drawer I had never cleaned the very very bottom of our freezer I know shame on me don't do that I don't recommend it and so there was some ice with food crumbs on there as you can see so I did thaw the freezer a bit and used a little scratcher to get the ice out that way it was clean and I was less, I was just in love with how much better it looked and can't believe I left it that long when it really took only 10 minutes to do that part. So after everything was washed and cleaned up, I put it all back in, reorganized my food and how I wanted it. And you guys, I have been loving my Dymo label maker. I don't show you that in here, but I've been labeling my fridge shelves, my freezer, just to like the frozen veggies and frozen fr fruit and meat, just to have them in a categorized area. And it was only $25 on Amazon, I want to say. So I recommend a label maker. My husband is loving that I'm doing that too, because then he knows exactly where everything goes. So maybe I'll have to show a video of everything I've labeled later. But just keeping it organized and clean just is so satisfying and something that doesn't take very long to do. So honestly, just do it as a homemaker. If you're a working mom, um, spend an evening doing an hour of clean out or a Saturday. So it just really was so nice and refreshing to have this so nice and clean. <laughs> Right, the next area are some of my trash cans so uh, the blue one is by my laundry for my lint and I usually use bags in there as well and then the other one is my recycling bin which was so gross as you saw and I don't know why I just hadn't cleaned them out very much um, so it just took 10 minutes to put some soapy water in the bottom wipe it clean and get it done and that's again something I just procrastinated but I knew I wanted to get done and this should be done regularly as well because then it won't get as gross as it currently was for me and so homemaking is just something you have to put some time and effort into and not procrastinate on. All right, to my daughter's high chair. I clean this very regularly, but I don't take it off the chair as often. So I did do that knowing 
the underneath crumbs accumulate and so I just wiped down the chair again wiped the cushion and got it a little less grimy from her food crumbs I shared with you my stove clean out back in February I believe it was and so I'm just doing it again actually I pulled out my stove and just wiped the sides because if you don't have anything to protect food from falling in between the cracks it goes down the side of the oven and stove and on your counter area so I just thought that was a good time to wipe that clean and get that done and also to vacuum behind it again because some um, sprinkles had fallen behind it, a random spoon, just some crumbs had gone under there and I thought why not do it one more time uh, here in the spring season, that way it is nice and clean, get some of that grease off the front of the stove as well and just wipe it down thoroughly. <laughs> Another area I do a couple times a year is wiping down my cupboards and repainting the parts that get a little scuffed up. So we had repainted our cupboards about four years ago after we moved in our kitchen cabinets and put new handles or poles on them. Um, it was a very inexpensive way to update our puke green colored cabinets and put some new hardware on it and by the way the hardware was thrifted at a garage sale I found 40 of these poles for oh ten dollars so anyways um, I just wanted to do some touch-up paint and so wiping those areas down was important and I think as a homemaker that's a way you can make a home look more put together as well is do some paint touch-ups it doesn't have to just be the cabinets it could be your baseboards it could be those big holes you have in the walls just fill them with some wood filler and then paint them so always have like a little pint of paint left or have it on hand so that you can do these little projects to make your home look more put together and more inviting have a dirt road that is to the west of our patio doors and so the wind often blows that direction and it just gets so gross in our um, patio sliding area for the door to open so I just thought I would wipe that down vacuum it get some of that dirt grime out of there um, just make it look nicer, especially when the door is open more, just to make it feel more inviting. So when I look down, I don't get grossed out by all the dirt and things that are then coming in. And of course, my dog wanted to come check out what I was doing as well. But doors are a big area to me to have looking nice, even if it's only one my family uses. And I wanted to make that just seem more... Um, inviting as we have it open a lot more and then my blinds i do wipe these down relatively often but i used a wet or a damp cloth because there were some bug splatters on the bottom some dust had really built up because i had the windows open on a really dusty and windy day and so i just okay i'll quickly wipe these down wipe the window sills again um in some of the areas just on more of the side that faces the dusty road and just get some of that nitty gritty crack type area clean as well so this is just some areas that you can clean you may have other areas to clean in your home but make it a place you love by just putting some time and effort into cleaning and don't procrastinate <laughs> <laughs> 